Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out our merch store. We'll have a link in the description for that. It's December 5th today, 2022. It says it's 27 degrees, but it doesn't feel that warm. There's a pretty good wind blowing out here, but uh, I got the uni fired up, and I'm gonna hook up to the wagon and see if we can get this corn finished today. Um, I think there's two, maybe three loads left here, so if everything goes well, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, so anyway, I got that warming up and then we'll get rolling. Should be in. Let it out real slow.
get all that in this bag and I might have to get out push some around a little bit but it should be close I'd like to get everything in this wagon and just be done with it but we'll see what happens we'll fire up and go down and see how far we get I got off and leveled that load out and went a little further but it's some of the better corn down at this end and it's full again already so I'm just going to take this home and unload it it's short time anyway so we'll get that done and I'll either come back up tonight or tomorrow probably tomorrow and grab the rest of this it's cooling off now so it's starting to pick a lot trashier again getting a lot of stock in there anyway so uh, but there's probably a half a load or so left and then it'll be done. So I wanted to get it done today, it didn't happen, but that's how it goes. Um, so yeah, we'll get this unhooked and get it home and get it unloaded and start chores. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's the next day. We just got that load unloaded that I picked last night. I'm gonna run up there now. Justin's gonna head up with me and uh, we'll run up and pick off the rest of that field to get that done with, get it in the crib. It's picking a little bit dirty just cause it's colder out. Uh, if it was another 10 degrees warmer, it would make a big difference, but that's the way it goes. Uh, how it is, the, the load I picked last night was, oh, uh, you can probably, I don't know if you can tell from here. Probably doesn't show up real well, but it's a lot trashier. You get pieces of stock and stuff. I mean, that thing can only pick off so much, but that's how it goes. Um, and we got about... We'll get this last bunch in there. It'll be about half a crib, so I'm actually really happy with that. That's way, way better than I figured we'd have in there. So anyway, we'll hop in, head up there. The uni fired up, and we'll get picking. I didn't get any video of unloading that last load because there was just a little bit in there and I didn't figure we needed a bunch more footage of that but we'll come up here around the crib and take a look at everything before it gets dark Justin's just going around he's picking up some of the cobs that fell out of the elevator and you get a few that fall through the wire probably have the kids running around and pick them up usually some of the little smaller ones that pop through the wire it wasn't too bad some years we've had it really bad but there's pretty uh, pretty good pile in there you can sure tell though I mean you look down at the bottom here that was the first couple loads I did those days it was a lot warmer and then as it got colder now you get more husks and stuff and I mean that's pretty I know my grandpa said years back he had that old two row that might even been an international picker yet at that time um got late like this and it got real cold and he said that picked real dirty then he got one day it was like 40 degrees and it just picked clean as can be so but this head i think tends to pick trashier just because the older ones they had rollers in the head and then when you at least on the pull type ones i don't know about these unis but the pull type ones you drove the roller spun and then as the stock went through and the cob got there the rollers just popped the cob off or this one the rollers that are in there they're made more they grab the stock and pull it down and then it pulls it between two plates that are solid and then when the cob hits those plates it breaks the cob off but a lot of times what happens here when it gets cold 
the stock gets brittle so it basically breaks off the whole stock right at that cob so then that picker's got all that stock and cob and everything coming in there it's just a lot of times probably more than it can handle but for what i'm doing with it just grinding it for heifer feed i mean we've had plenty of it like this before and it grinds up fine um makes makes good feed like i said i don't have enough here to do for the milk cows this is just going to be young stock feed but there'll be enough to get me probably pretty close through the winter i would say i'm guessing it's about half full so that's um that's not bad for that little piece that was there but anyway we're going to run up to pick up some ears and threw them in the elevator so i'll put them in and then we'll probably call it a day harvest for 2022 is finally done and then i'll probably have people ask about the corn stalks if i'm going to take them for bedding i don't know i think i might just chop them back on the field i wanted to take them for bedding but with the snow we've got in there i'm kind of worried if i bale them or chop them and they wind up in a pile um, if we get a warm day or two where they're, that snow melts they're just going to heat and get moldy i don't know i've never dealt much with corn stalk bedding but maybe maybe it would work fine you guys can let me know in the comments too if maybe it'd be fine to uh to bail them up but uh anyway we'll finish up here we'll catch you in the next one so thanks everybody for watching stay safe and god bless